For 37 weeks in 1864, General William T. Sherman made Georgia his battleground. Observing the 150th anniversary, we present this week-by-week -week chronicle, 37 Weeks, Sherman on the March. I'm Masood Olafani for the Atlanta History Center. It is late August, 1864. In Chicago, the Democratic Party nominates George McClellan on a platform calling for peace. They say the war is unwinnable. But 600 miles away in Atlanta, Sherman is winning it. After abandoning the siege lines around Atlanta, Sherman leads his army on a wide-flanking march. 14 miles south of Atlanta, he reaches Atlanta's last remaining supply line, the Macon Railroad. Sherman's veterans begin ripping up the tracks. Near the town of Jonesboro, Confederate counterattacks are repulsed with heavy casualties. Atlanta is doomed. Hood is forced to evacuate Atlanta or risk being trapped in the city and slowly starved out. On the night of September 1st, Hood's men set fire to an ammunition train trapped in the city. 80 boxcars of ammunition go up in a massive explosion that shakes buildings all over town. In Jonesboro, Sherman hears the explosion and knows what it means. The next morning, the first Union troops march into Atlanta. Sherman telegraphs Lincoln, and so Atlanta is ours, and fairly won. It is the greatest turning point of the war. I'm Masood Olafani, and this is Week 20. 37 Weeks, Sherman on the March is a production of the Atlanta History Center and Georgia Public Broadcasting.